which I've been surprised at some of the kickback. Most of it has been obviously from certain subreddits that I frequent, but I've been surprised at some of the negative comments regarding this. So this is regarding Else. Else is a nightclub in Berlin, an open air nightclub, one of the better open air nightclubs they have there because a lot of them are kind of corny um, and a little bit lame, especially music wise, because they play a lot of tech house, EDM, and just shit that I'm not really into. So Else is probably the only one that's open air that plays the stuff that you and I would probably like.
was just a nice airy fun vibe i'm not gonna lie it's not too serious um it's not too pretentious um maybe the crowd is a bit random but i don't mind it honestly i really don't mind it i'm surprised that a lot of berliners seem to have a lot of negative things or have negative feelings around else maybe again maybe it's something to do with being there every day and living there is completely different when you actually experience it during a week but the times i've been to else i've always had a fucking good time honestly legitimately a fucking vibe and i remember especially during the peak of, of the areas the peak times of the pandemic when no one could go anywhere seeing videos of people dancing well weirdly enough seeing people seeing videos of people dancing and else with face masks on and shit kind of made me you know kind of made me feel optimistic about the future i'm not gonna lie because that was the first i think time i saw people clubbing in an actual quote-unquote conventional club um so you know i've got a lot of fun memories of else and what they do i love the booth the design everything about it anyway long story short else released news courtesy of the website regarding a season pass that they're going to be pushing for 2024 obviously this is you'd imagine maybe an indication that maybe business isn't going well or is them trying to offer their customers a different way to kind of interact and enjoy else especially with the berlin summer with it being really hot for a long time and you know why not take advantage of that by getting yourself a pass that allows you to go and visit else as more often as possible because from what i understand again it's not for me because i'm not really an outdoors heat person i usually like it in a cold which is why i tend to go to berlin between the months of like august and fucking Jan february are usually my favorite months maybe let's say like september october to february but most people like to go during the summer because it's fucking gorgeous over there um even though the, the, the streets are covered in graffiti and piss and shit and syringes and whatever it may be it's actually a lovely place to visit in the summer because the summers it's just lovely it's just super warm super hot and most people tend to go to the open air bars they don't really like staying inside of a club i do but most people don't who are normal and well adjusted so else is one of the great places to kind of go you know they've also got cc force obviously the bergheim garden is good and a few other places as well that i'm kind of not remembering anyway long story short else have got a party that they're po posting about which i think is a really good idea so it says here is else your garden are you with us almost every weekend because i'd imagine there you are if you live there or if i lived there i'd probably be there every weekend then this is for you we are offering you the opportunity to become an else ultra and apply for an L season pass giving you access to all our international events sorry all of our internal events and a solid 50 percent discount on external events that's pretty cool right isn't that pretty cool so you get access to all of the events that they put on their own promotions and you get 50 percent discount on tickets for external promoters that's pretty sick especially when you see the lineup of the events they have coming up but that's not all our plus one enjoy skip, skip the line privilege too. choose from the three types of season pass that fit your schedule so you have to apply you can't just buy it which is great still it is a, still like a selection process it's still a picking thing to go through but one month pass is 85 euros two month pass is 165 euros and a full season which is from june to september is 285 euros i'm not gonna lie if you think about certain clubs in london fabric being one of them drumshed being another you could pay to go to see do you could pay for maybe two events maybe three events for two month pass that they're giving you three events in drumshed three separate raves maybe even on thursday friday and saturday might cost you more than 200 euros especially when you include the tickets the fucking um to put your thing in the cloakroom and the lockers maybe a drink there maybe a burger maybe some drugs that, that would easily easily go over 200 euros and and they're giving you a two-month pass which basically means you get a two-month pass to go to free events in there and 50 percent off which is great because the tickets at else are really fucking cheap i think that's an amazing deal really fun and amazing deal i saw some people suggest the same thing for Bergheim. they would never do that because they've got crazy demand they don't need to offer passes but i think for clubs like else that only really operate in the summer it's nice to maybe get some of that money up front you know to be able to have that money up front it kind of allows you some leeway and it gives you some extra runway and gives you some space and breathing room for the further months like why not do it i think other places actually if i'm not mistaken don't other places in ibiza do the same thing too i'm not sure if i'm right but i think there's season passes in ibiza too which makes complete sense um most of the you know most for, for, for june to september you know most likely it's going to be hot as fuck so why you know what's the point of even trying um to go anywhere else because for the most part 
like I said before, regular people that live in Berlin, live, people that live in like sunny places tend to stay outdoors. I remember last time I actually went in the summer, might have been like 2019 or something. Everyone was outside. Like everyone would stay outside until it got cold, which might be like 8 p.m. or something or 9 p.m. when it got a bit frisky. Then you go inside, but people would stay outside, literally sitting by the canal, sitting in the park, sitting on the side of the street. I forgot where that area is next to that bridge that everyone goes to, the kind of hipster place where people just sit down on the floor, play music, playing cards, chilling, talking, whatever just staying outside for as long as possible and then going indoors when you had to so else it's probably a sick place to go to because you get all of that and you're already in the club anyway and they've got loads of comfortable seating areas you can sit down at and chill out and shit i fucking love it i'm not gonna lie i really really love it i'm actually even apply even i'm not gonna be there often i think from one month past i might even end up applying myself so if you actually go on the website or on, on instagram you see some pictures of what it actually looks like because i think it's again one of the better designed clubs and maybe a little bit more of an interesting space because it's not just like a black box on the inside as you can see there from the pictures some white walls i love actually how they've got some of the speakers installed here on some of the walls on the side here i guess there's a maybe doors to go back to the green room not too sure but the actual main door to go into else is this massive door that has some um, these pink lips on the outside or purple lips i think that's a pretty cool design i'm not too mad at that but then the actual design of the club itself is really up my alley i'm not gonna lie i fucking fucking love it so this is courtesy of the account called heist berlin that shows you some pictures of the interior of else um because i think most likely if i'm not mistaken you're not allowed to take pictures in there so they do cover your camera so you don't really see a lot of the footage inside but these are like official pictures of what it looks like on the inside you've got this amazing tree that kind of roots up right in the middle of the dance floor right that's already unique think about that that's fucking a unique they actually do have a cover actually i didn't know that they actually do have a covering that's like a clear i think it's like a clear sheet so you can obviously see some of the light but it actually is covered i think the main dance floor is kind of covered i guess to cover the electronics and make sure people don't you know they don't get wet up but i think the back space is a bit open if i'm not mistaken but anyway there's a massive there's a massive tree growing right in the middle of the fucking dance floor nice wooden um floor nice warm sound great speakers on either side there i'm not too sure what the brand is but again it looks great there's a balcony that you can stand over yes like i said one half of the of the venue is covered as you can see here by this roof but then the rest of it is exposed and there's crates all over or cargo you know that you can kind of see people are in there or no cargo designs around it um kind of it, it's kind of like an upscale version or a berlin version of a box park just looks a bit more interesting to be fair balcony seats again nice co nice colors as well with all the fucking cargo bins as well there and another tree so there's two trees there's another tree growing here another tree there plenty of places to sit down and chill and whatever it may be and again one of my favorite venues to go to there's also kind of let me actually check to see what they actually see on google about it and what the reviews are because i've seen people online have a lot of weird things to say about else but legit i actually like it i think it's one of the better places to kind of hang out and just chill at the place i was thinking about where people chill and drink might be this place here lumo lenenzel or something whatever there's like a place where everyone goes to sit down i'm sure some of you guys know what i'm talking about um so let me actually see what the reviews are saying what what are the reviews saying here about else so this person here says else is a nice club cute outdoor space nice um inside amazing view and the sunset is perfect location this is six days ago also a good bar however the door policy could be more strict in order to to annoy people in order for annoying people who go in your club to try and get guilt man that, that i don't think you can be that strict if you have an open air club you're you're really limited on the amount of time you could be open anyway right you're an open air club this kind of club doesn't thrive in the winter it thrives in the summer that's why it looks fucking phenomenal in the wind in the fucking summers so if that's the case you kind of have to be a little bit more open a little bit more free with people when they come in i'm not sure what that door is that's actually quite a cool little door there i wonder where that goes to so i actually i like the fact that they're a bit more free and loose and they don't they're not as strict with the door policy obviously they still have some door selection but i think because people in berlin are spoiled and they're so used to like extremely strict and really precise and on it door selection when they don't get it all the time they just get annoyed you know what i mean but it's like come on bro like you still get better door selection than we get in london and you've got a club that's open there like this that's open longer than some of our actual legit clubs this place is probably open for longer than our actual legit clubs I, I, I kid you not and it costs way less as well um so i think people need to chill out with that stuff but i understand what they mean because i've seen this complaint before so i think this is the one place that you go to where there's randoms but again what would you rather go to else or go to sisyphus you know what i mean i like sisyphus a legendary spot but the music policy oof, 
Okay, this person's terrible experience. Terrible experience. We ordered tickets in advance, twenty five euros, and despite this, when we arrived at the party, the sex is doing. See, there we go. Look at the look at the contrast. One person bought tickets, which you should never do, by the way, in Berlin. You should just go and just try your luck because you know they they have door selectors, so or door pickers, and they have security and bouncers who take their job very seriously. And dance music there is a very serious and very kind of you know well taken care of division and sector of their industry. So if you do buy tickets in advance and you're too slush they will take very good pleasure in telling you to fuck off so you're better off just like trying your luck when you get there if i, I would say anyway um but he said anyway the person said terrible experience we ordered tickets in advance in 25 euros and despite this when we arrived at the party the selector did not let us in claiming the place was full even though we saw the other girls had entered and we didn't receive our refund it's a shame that there's such a place exists yeah again that's your fault another person says one of the best dj clubs in the world please correct me if i'm wrong but there are only a few clubs who gather four main stage of crowd for the dancing people on sunday from 3 p.m in the afternoon until the next morning exactly where else can you go during the summers anyway especially in london you can't go that's the thing people in berlin are so spoiled they need to come and sl and have a season quote unquote in london can't have a season in london try and rave at fucking box park shoreditch please i dare you try and rave at fucking you know what's that thing called um uh old what's that thing called village something village whatever underground in fucking shoreditch try and try and rave at fucking whatever else i can't think of at the moment egg or something like that i dare you come to london and you'll see how bad things are you guys have things really really great over there um, and again if it's not and if you don't like it you could just go anywhere else can you go you could go to um what's the other place called um that's by the river as well that i'm a big fan of um, I had one of my best clubbing experiences there actually back in the day. I can't remember it now. The name escapes me, but I'll put the fucking picture up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, it continues. On the other hand, the main stage is open air. It closes at 10 p.m. Then the party continues inside. Okay, cool. So it's two halves. So there's an inside of else. I didn't know that. Or, or did they mean the inside is the further? I don't really know how it works out, but I can't remember from last time I've been there. It's been a while. Inside the music they played was too hard for legs and ears. It was a feeling the DJ played music purposely to go home dumb. I like the experience. It's exotic. The drinks are less than 10 euros. And the mission is 25 euros. Exactly. Exactly. Imagine going to a place that's, that's like that with that great architecture and shit. And it's only fucking 25 euros entry. Like you can't complain about that. Anyway, let's see some of the listings going forward in the future. We have a boys noise um, night. Again, boys noise kind of fell off from me. And I don't know. I still like his productions, but as a DJ, I've never really been that interested in him at the slightest. We've got, this is probably one of the better nights here. Um, Cooking and Else, Palms Tracks, Prozuma, Jennifer Loveless, like amazing fucking lineup there. You got BCC own lineup in there, which is an odd one to be honest. Um, but still, they're there if you like that kind of thing. Russ from Friends is going to be playing there. Um, DJ Tennis is going to be playing there soon as well. Um, who else do we have here? Matrix Man, big up my guy Matrix Man. He's going to be playing there soon. Um, Saturday, June twenty second. That would be a fucking sick one. Um, you got a pan pot night. That would be cool too, by the way. I'm not going to lie. I think a pan pot night would be pretty cool to go see them play in that sort of venue. Um, Carl Craig has been playing there also, which is an interesting one. There's a Carl Craig night away in Detroit Live featuring Carl Craig, DJ Stingray, DJ Minx, um, Osuku, y Yuki Matsu, Natasha Kan, Discreet Circuit. Pretty decent lineup that. There's a porn sexual happening actually. Weird, isn't it? There's a porn sexual. Oh, that's a fucking good lineup, that one. A porn sexual on the 29th of June that features Sem, uh, Deep in You, Madagaski, Old Young Main, Rakant, Slim, Solidad, and my, one of my favorites, Tijana T. Absolutely incredible. Honestly, this place is fucking sick. I don't care what anyone says. Look at this. There's a DJ Seinfeld playing as well on, on the 30th of June. You got Sumo Click here playing. Who else you got here? You got Nastya playing as well soon. Or no, not Nasha. I think this is another person, Nasha Regal. I thought that was the other Nasha that I know. Um, Intercell night happening as well with Bloody Mary, Gen X, and Alex Diner. You got Hishi Day. Wow, Hishi Day is all over the place. You know, they're international now, isn't it? Big up Hishi Day. Um, you got Agnia, DJ Sweet 16, Imad, Tyrik, Kitia, Love Foxy. Love Foxy is everywhere too, by the way. Big up Love Foxy. I've seen Love Foxy's name on bare lineups, man. Big up Love Foxy. Hustle is real. Um, you got an else and key the, yo, yo you got you got freddie k playing on the 10th of august that would be a fucking sick one to see all freddie k's crowd in the sun outdoors like you know that would be crazy everyone wearing black and whatever those kkk fucking i forgot what the name is those fucking um t-shirts everyone likes to wear when they're fans of him jim ruskin's also playing but yeah man like 
this is a fucking sick lineup i'm not gonna lie very 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 cool lineups and cool people playing that i would obviously love to go and check out let's actually see how much is the conceptual one there's an open day and night rave what is the how much do the tickets cost over there else i think they're about 30 euros 25 pounds maybe 30 pounds look at that man to see all these people playing 26 80 euros like come on bro no photos allowed music policy and dance everyone's dancing and they're having a good time going fucking crazy else is fucking sick man i will not have any slander you know pointed towards else's way one of the better places to go to and i can't wait to check it out soon i can't wait to check out else so definitely check out else and definitely check out their season pass i think it's a good initiative and it's a good way to you know help ravers kind of you know spec out their planning or what they want to do and whatever it may be and also to lock in some dates for you yourself as well if you want to go especially during the summer months in berlin what a better way to spend it than to have an else pass over there so big up else big up the blood clot else i cannot complain about them i really really cannot complain when it comes to else <laughs>